In this example, we're looking at a, a manufacturer of soda filling cans, and what we're told is that the average value in those cans has a, a mean value of 12.1 ounces, and they know the machinery uh, fills the cans with a standard deviation of 0.15 ounces. If we assume that the distribution of the liquid uh, in the cans is forming a bell-shaped curve, or we can say approximately a normal distribution, what percentage of those soda cans are underfilled if they're supposed to be 12 ounces per can? Now, in this situation, the way we're going to answer it is based on this part of the assumption, otherwise we wouldn't have enough information to go on that, that it has this bell-shaped curve or this normal distribution. So, to give us an idea of what we're working with, uh, our normal distribution for the amount of uh, soda that is in the cans is given to us by looking at kind of the area under this curve. And for our distribution, we know that the mean was 12.1 ounces. So that's going to be where the peak occurs. So the mean here is 12.1. The standard deviation, so I'm going to kind of draw this uh, dashed line for my line of symmetry. The standard deviation is a distance from the mean, and when you look at the bell-shaped curve, the, the way you can figure out where the standard deviation distance is, is by finding what's called an inflection point on that curve. And so this is where it's concave down, and then it kind of turns, so that's being concave up. So the shape is kind of changing at this point, and that's called our inflection point. So this distance from the mean to that inflection point is actually the standard deviation. So for us, that's going to be the 0.15 ounces. So here, mu, the mean, was 12.1 ounces. So in our question, what we're trying to identify is that I have cans being underfilled if they're less than 12 ounces. So I want to find what percentage of cans are underfilled. So I'm going to look at, okay, here's 12. I want this percentage or this area that's under that curve. So if I can figure out what this percentage is for the total uh, area under the curve, I have the um, percentage of the soda cans that are being underfilled. So to calculate this, uh, one way that we had was the empirical rule, that 68, 95, 99.7 rule. But that only works if you're one standard deviation or two standard deviations away or three standard deviations away. I am not exactly one standard deviation. I'm a little bit less than one standard deviation away. So I'm not going to be able to use that empirical rule other than a estimate um, for my answer to see if I'm in the ballpark. What I need to look at is uh, using a way to find this area based on either a calculus technique, which is beyond what I'm going to do this video for, or by using a, a table of values for given z-scores. So I have a, a table of values here that we can use. But the first thing I need to do is calculate my actual z-score. And so a z-score is the observed value minus the mean of the population over the standard deviation. And so for our situation, the observed uh, value is going to be that underfilled amount, 12 ounces. So I'm going to subtract off the mean, 12.1, and divide by the standard deviation, 0.15. When I do that, I get 0.6 repeating, and so I'm going to need to approximate this as 0.67. Now, for some tables, you may have to approximate even more. So we would have to either say we're going to approximate it to 0 0.7 or figure out is it better to round down to 0.6. So when I look at my table, I realize that uh, the z-score, so I'm looking for, that should have been negative, 12 minus 12.1 would have been negative. So I'm going to be looking for uh, something close to negative 0.67. And I come down to the table and say, well, I've got something that's kind of close. I have these two to kind of choose from. So there's kind of one or two, a couple ways we can try to get a better approximation here. One could be deciding which way should I round. Should I round it to negative 0.7 or should I round it to negative 0.6? 
If it matters of over counting or under counting the percentage, that should tell you which way to round. Um, what I'm going to look at is because my 0.67 is in between those two values, I'm just going to average these two. Now, if I was really close to negative 0.7, or really close to negative 0.6, I might just use the value that's given there, but because I'm kind of towards the middle, I'm just going to average these two percentages to give me a, a, an estimated uh, percentage of soda cans that are being underfilled. So my percentage that are underfilled is going to be the average of 24.196 and 27.425 and this gets me an answer that's roughly 25.8% so based on this uh, graph for our normal distribution the percentage of the population of the soda cans being filled with less than 12 ounces per can is about 25% of those.